Marlin continues to buck the market trend with the announcement of its share buyback, but is this actually a good move for the company? Hi again, everyone. I hope you all are doing really well. So Thursday, another great day for Marlin Automotive. Uh, the stock was up by about as much as 70% at one point. Um, obviously, we had the macro factors of the uh, labor market news weighing on the broader market as well as Marlin. It kind of seemed to bring the stock down, but it still finished an impressive 30% uh, percent up on the day, which is really good. At the moment in the aftermarket, we're kind of trending kind of flat, but just waiting to see what's going on there. But I guess like the big news obviously is that um, Dave Mitri's announced that there is going to be an up to $25 million share buyback. Uh, and obviously this is going to bring in, you know, more buying pressure, people trying to buy the stock um, back around Mullen Automotive. Now, the, looking at the what I've read about the um, the buyback, it's not really a binding share buyback, so it doesn't mean that Mullen's going to commit um, the whole $25 million. Technically, they don't even have to commit anything to um, to undertake the buyback, so it's it's kind of like we've, got, we've they've earmarked up to $25 million to buy back shares, uh, and they will do it at their discretion. Uh, the interesting wording around that, it will be either on the market or with private dealerships, so like obviously big institutional holders they want to buy off. Uh, so yeah, it's an interesting interesting scenario there. So it's kind of be like, well, we can privately negotiate some deals. Maybe it's like deals for mates. I wouldn't be surprised with this company. But um, anyway, the fact that $25 million has been earmarked is uh, getting the market excited. Uh, now, whether or not it's a good move for Marlin Automotive is a different topic. Obviously, a bit has been made about the fact that they have a lot of cash at the moment, $235 million in cash and only about $7 million in debt um, as they sort of ramp up production this month and next month. And they're starting to recognize revenue on the balance sheet. So there's some positive things there, but you know, it, there's been a lot of pain for shareholders for them to get to that $235 million balance. Um, and it's, you know, the people who have hung on, a lot of them have hung on hoping for, you know, the operations of the business to start turning around. So in a sense, it's kind of like, we've have we just raised money to buy back more shares? I don't know. Um, and is, is it necessarily a good thing? Would you rather wait to see, um, you know, if the company can rebound on its own? And it's, it's a hard one to answer because the stock price has obviously been dangling around, uh, you know, that 10 cent mark and, you know, where we could be seeing the um, initiation of a NASDAQ ruling to get delisted, which is a pretty serious delisting threat uh, from the NASDAQ. Um, so yeah, like the, obviously this $25 million that's been earmarked will help, will hopefully, uh, help stave that sort of, uh, market move off, but yeah, it's hard to say whether or not it's a good thing or not. I'd love to hear what you guys all think. Um, drop your thoughts in the comments below as always. Now, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of happy about the announcement because it's not necessarily a commitment of the $25 million for this purpose, which, you know, could be good, but, um, it does put some positivity in the stock and that I think it's going to help at least keep the stock slightly more elevated than where it's been the last, well, you know, up until yesterday, it's been on a good rally. It's actually more than doubled over the last two days, which is good. But I think there's enough there momentum to at least keep the stock up um, above the 10 cent mark. Uh, still, we need to get the stock back above the $1 mark eventually, but uh, this might actually help contribute to that by putting in this underlying base that yes, if the stock price falls so much, we're going to um, buyback stock. Um, yeah, so that's good. Um, obviously, we've still got some other key events to navigate. We've got uh, the shareholder meeting coming up on August 3rd, uh, where you know we're likely to have a vote passed that the company will be allowed to um, initiate another reverse stock split if necessary, plus a raft of other measures that are going to be voted on. So I think this buyback will at least allow the business to um, you know, navigate through there. Really, it would have been a better place, I think, to to talk about a buyback at the shareholder meeting. But I think the way the stock had been going in recent times, you know, the company had to do something. Um, they've taken a couple of, you know, real meme stock style plays out of the Genius Group um, playbook. They've, you know, they're doing a buyback where Genius Group kind of created a um, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, a uh, cryptocurrency token as a dividend to try and like entice shareholders in. Uh, and, you know, they also, the other day, the company announced that they're going after um, naked shorting. And, you know, again, that was a play that was started by Genius Group. So 
in one sense, if you take a step back, what Marlon Automotive is doing, we've kind of seen already earlier this year um, with a couple of businesses. And so Marlon's definitely trading down that way. Uh, in a sense, it worked for them in the short term. It got the stock price back to you know good levels uh, and got a bit more interest beat up in the stock. But you have to ask, how long is the interest going to last in Marlon Automotive? Uh, now that the stock's valued at above uh, 20 cents a share, if $25 million is going to be taken away technically for a buyback, the underlying cash value, which has been touted, um, you know, 38 cents per share, suddenly isn't quite as attractive in a sense. But And we're also going to be seeing cash start to burn as more production rolls out. So, you know, there, there, there comes a point where you've got to ask, well, how far can this buyback push the share? Uh, the other thing that's going on, obviously, is there is an increased amount of uh, market interest, and I think we are probably seeing an attempt at a bit of a short squeeze in the stock right now. I know people don't like me saying that, but it's the reality of what's going on. Uh, there's a high short percentage, um, and you know there's been two really strong positive catalysts, which are basically anti-shorting catalysts with the legal action and now um, the announcement of a buyback. So there might Given the low stock price, there's, I think we're starting to see like a big entrance of retail investors or traders uh, looking for a short-term um, push on the shorts in the stock. Anyway, uh, share your thoughts on it all right now. Is Mullen Automotive um, going through a short squeeze? Are we? Uh, do you think the the buyback is a good move? Um, do you think we'll actually see the whole buyback executed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, everyone. May the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.